I chose to go on this mission trip um, for several reasons. One of the most important reasons is as a child, I was given the name missionary by a great aunt, um, and I didn't really understand it as a young girl and even growing up, but as an adult, I was told that she gave me that uh, name simply because she had spoke over my life that I was going to do great things around the world. And so I've known that my heart has been for missions and helping people who are underprivileged. And so when the opportunity came for me to be able to participate in this particular trip, especially in Africa, I prayed and when God released me to go, I went. What I learned about myself uh, on this trip is the importance of being available. Uh, I learned the importance of trusting God in every situation. And I say that because this entire trip was a faith walk for me. Uh, knowing some of the health challenges that I've had in the past, knowing that I've attempted to go on other mission trips, uh, and gotten sick during those, uh, for me, from the raising of the funds to everything that took place on the trip, I learned that if I just trust God, that when His hand is on you, He's gonna keep it on you, and He's gonna give you the strength that you need to overcome any obstacle that may come your way. So for me, not just then, but even now, I've just learned to trust God in every situation. What I learned um, just from the people while there is a newfound sense of gratefulness um, here in America because we've been born with things um, we take for granted, um, just small things like clean water, um, having restrooms to go to. And so what I learned from those people while being there is simply that no matter what the situation, they're happy, they're joyful. I never heard one person complain. And so in this new aspect of gratefulness, it's just teaching me not just to say, thank you, Lord, but to truly show him how grateful I am for the gifts he's given me, um, for the blessings he's bestowed upon me. I want to take everything that he has blessed me with and be a blessing to somebody else. The first personal moment that I experienced was in one of the churches that we actually at DC3 helped to purchase the land for. It's Kubane Presbyterian Church. We were in that church and when I tell you, it's literally four walls of concrete. There are some benches, but there was a moment during praise and worship and I looked over and literally their keyboardist is playing, has the keyboard placed on a cinder block, literally a brick. But when I tell you the worship was so genuine, and that moment hit me simply because it showed me that it doesn't take all the extra that we have or that we think we need, even sound, the visuals, but to see them genuinely worshiping God with the little that they had, that's when I had my moment. And I just, I, I repented while I was there because I told God, I said, I'm truly sorry for what we've made of worship when it truly comes from the heart and you could feel it, there was this unexplainable presence of God in that small church, but it was amazing, and that's one experience that I'll never forget. 
What I learned about the people is that they love God and they're appreciative, not just of material things, but they're appreciative of help and support and prayers. And when I tell you throughout the entire trip, we just kept hearing, thank you. And so that showed me that they just want our presence. And while we were in um, worship at Abiding Word, they sang this song. And some of the lyrics were do, 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 ogane do. And what that simply means is thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. I thank you. And I'll never forget that song. I had no idea really what they were saying, but then they put the lyrics on the screen and I'll never forget that simple phrase, Oganado. And they express that, not just in worship service, but from the time we got off the plane until the time that we departed. And so, those people instill something in me um, that I'll always take with me for the rest of my life. One of the experiences actually, um, we had gone to one of the clinics and for us, having access to a bathroom is, we don't question that. But being there, um, there was an instance where you asked where the bathroom was and you were led to a hole in the ground. And that's their restroom. And it's those types of things that, like I said, we were born into this. Um, I've never used an outhouse. I've always had indoor plumbing, but to see some of the living conditions and they not complain or think twice about it because it's their norm. Um, that was an, another humbling experience. Um, seeing ladies, we had gone to one of the markets and of course we're from America and so they want what we want and so what some of the ladies and I did is because they wanted anything, toothpaste, deodorant, um, makeup, whatever it was that we no longer wanted, they were requesting that. And so we all got together, clothes, toiletries, whatever it was that we could leave with them, we did that. Um, even for the children and youth, um, when we went and did the children's program, we donated school supplies. It was, it was just a blessing just to, like I said, see them be so appreciative. Um, seeing men and women with flip-flops on or sandals on that literally had no tread. And they, like I said, made it through each and every day one of the churches uh, that we went to, actually Abiding Word, uh, the pastor let us know that several of the women that were coming to the women's conference that we did, that they walk from work to get to church. I'm not talking half mile, mile. They walk distances just to get to church. So just to see them live um, the way that they do, um, it just, being back here, I don't just say, God, I, I appreciate all that you've done for me, but it's, it's here now, and those aren't just words for me. So the stuff I think I want, um, I, I kinda think twice about that because their needs are so much greater. And just the whole experience of seeing what they have versus what we have, to me, they're richer. Because it's not about material things. It's all about loving God 
and living the life that He purposed for them. The most rewarding experience for me um, that goes along with what I know God has purposed uh, and called me to do was having the opportunity to preach um, in the Gambia. It was an awesome experience, and I use the word awesome simply because um, I'm just a little country girl from Allen, Texas, would have never thought in a million years that God would take me to the Gambia, West Africa, to preach his word, basically fulfill the assignment um, that he's given me for my life. So I look back and, and I kind of joke to myself about it. And I say, well, hey, Tandra, you're an international preacher now, you know, and, and that's just a blessing. So it's really rewarding but it's also humbling. Um, and my prayer is that I always stay humble because I know that there's more and the best to come for what God has for me to do. I will definitely travel for another mission trip, uh, not just specifically to Africa, but because I know that's a call that God has on my life and because I know the heart that I have to not only love people, but to serve people. Um, I'm praying and just asking God um, to just show me where to go. And I'm gonna be obedient uh, and trust Him uh, in going. So yes, this is not the last.